A very useful tool for learning PLC programming is something called a PLC trainer. What this is, is simply a platform where the PLC is attached with wires going to a series of switches to simulate discrete input conditions. By setting up a bank of switches like this to a PLC, you can simulate a variety of conditions that you might experience in some sort of industrial control system. To illustrate, I have my Allen Bradley Micrologix 1000 PLC right here. The power is on. Close the communications port hatch right there. And I can demonstrate how turning on each one of these switches will light up a corresponding light on the input. So let me zoom out here a bit and I'll turn on the first switch. See how the light came on right there? I'll turn on the second switch. Next light. Third switch. Fourth. Fifth. And sixth. As you can see all the lights are lit up showing the discrete inputs energized for this PLC. Currently there's no program put into this PLC. I've cleared out the memory, so energizing or de-energizing the inputs does nothing. But the point of having a trainer like this is so I can put in test programs into the PLC and then experiment to understand how those programs and the instructions therein work. So the trainer gives me a convenient way of simulating inputs to the PLC and also carrying the whole device around put on a board like this, I can lift it up, cart it around, it's fairly rugged, and I can bring it around from place to place without worrying about connections falling loose, as everything is neatly arranged and tucked away so as to not get snagged on uh, anything like watch bands or jewelry or things of that nature. So it's a convenient way to learn how to use PLC hardware. I strongly recommend every student build their own trainer. You can buy pre-made trainers, but there's really a lot of merit in building your own. In building your own trainer like this, of course, you're learning how to work with hardware, how to marshal wiring and make it look very nice. Also, more importantly, you're learning how to deal with the inputs and outputs on the PLC itself. So, for example, these connections right here that you see on the PLC, these are all the input terminals. Learning how those are supposed to be wired up to switches is a very important part of learning PLCs. The programming is only a portion of it. Learning how to use the hardware is equally important and knowing how to wire up the input so it's either syncing or sourcing current as needed if it's a DC input or if it's an AC input, how to hook up the neutral and the hot connections to make everything work. Those are very important things to learn. And you don't get to learn those things on a pre-built trainer. So I think it's very important for students to build their own trainers. It's simple enough to do. All you need is a small PLC like this, a piece of wood, or perhaps a uh, inexpensive electrical enclosure, some terminal strips, and a bank of switches and some wires. That's basically it. So I strongly recommend anyone interested in learning to program PLCs build their own trainer like this and they can have a platform to experiment and to learn uh, experientially.